All right, guys. I'm feeling a very certain way right now. So things that have kind of got me, kind of led to me feeling this way. First, is describe feeling. It's uh, I don't know. I I might be a little bit remorseful. Uh, for pain in general, right? Um. I'm very anxious right now, extremely anxious. My heart is beating really fast. I'm not really sure why. And I know why, I'll go get to it. But like, I don't know why I won't stop. Um, I'm gonna reach pretty important uh, point in my life in the next week that will decide what, I, what direction I will take my life and where I would go next. Um, it's all positive though. I'm always going to be working on something. I have to be. But okay, so basically, it's just like a lot of like trivial children drama and stuff. Nothing bad. It's just a lot. It is mean, guys. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. So, let's talk about my goals, right? Just generally. My goals. I don't know if I talked about it before, but I'm going to go a little bit more in-depth this discussion. I really want to become happy, right? It's not everyone's goal, but how I think I can achieve happiness is through a sense of community and belonging. And having people that care about me as much as I do them in my circle. I think that's the real key to happiness. For me, at least. I may be wrong, but I've had many best friends. And sometimes I get emotional when I say that, just because... It's just every relationship I, I, I've had that was so strong, so great, right? To just not really fall apart, but drift away, so to speak, and not coming back. Um, I kind of want to find something a little bit more permanent, so to speak. Uh, and I think one of the ways of going through, if, of achieving that is finding something you're passionate about and monetize that. So for me, I'm really passionate about mastering stupid technical dumb things and the acquisition of knowledge and being able to perfect repetition and perfect like your mind, right? So, for an example, right? I got two examples, two things that I've taken this philosophy into is Super Smash Brothers Melee and cooking, stepping it up. Uh, now, typically speaking, I don't really care about games, really. Super Smash Brothers Melee, I don't really care about cooking, right? But all the aspects that make it up is what I really like. That's how I, that's, that's how I have immense passion and that's why when I'm doing these things I don't get exhausted or mentally fatigued, right? I get physically fatigued. My body will start to be like, yo, you got a stretcher, a dog. <laughs> yeah, put so much weight on that part of your body, you're gonna collapse. You know, but like mentally, like I'm all there. I'm always there, I'm always present, always thinking fast or how can I improve or you know, trying to become the best that I could be. So with so right now, it's kind of the main thing is cooking. I am. I'm just trying to become the best that I can be in there. And I just want to find my place through cooking, right? Um, nice house, nice partner, nice family, nice community, and and. 
And it's nice too because the happiest that I am is when everybody around me is having a good time. Usually it'd be like, you know, we're all just eating, laughing, music's playing, you know? That's just nice. That's really... that. Those moments are really memorable and enjoyable for me. Even if I'm not the center or of attention or even if it wasn't the best day for me, if it was someone else had a good day, that makes my day that much better. So sense of community is really important for me. And again, I am really young, so these things may change. They have changed before. I'm not expecting anything to be concrete here. So kind of what, what we're looking at right now. And all the chefs that I've seen, you know, they all have like a good sense of community. They all love their work. And I'll have a good family. And they all want to make sure that like the, the food they're making is fucking amazing. Every plate, you know, every plate that goes out has to be a certain standard of greatness. Otherwise it's not good and they do it over. And that's pretty fucking sick, right? But yeah, that's pretty much where I'm at right now. And what and and the next week I'm gonna determine whether or not I pursue cooking or I try to pursue affecting my personality and I'm trying to fucking take back the melee scene in Fresno. But that sounds ridiculous to say, but I want I I think I could do it. If I'm I'm the man to do it. I could do it. But I don't have time for both idols. Maybe I do, but I don't think I'm that I mean, I really, really can, but I'm not going to dedicate that much. Fuck it. <laughs> right? Like, you can only do so much. Uh, that kind of wraps that up. That's kind of where all my anxiety is coming from right now. I'm sure I go away like, when, on my feet, but right now, kind of like, getting at me. What, that wearing away at me. Chipping away. Oof. Let's talk about what happened yesterday. So I get off school work, right? And I have a, like an hour of just wandering around to this pretty cool area in the city. And I'm just walking around. I haven't been to these pokey stops since walk down this trail, like cool. It's summer, why is there so many cars here? I'm thinking, and I was like, well, let's try to figure out what, what's going on. Maybe there's some kind of event. It's late, it's late, so it has to be something good, right? And so I was walking around, walk around the whole school, right? Kind of just look at the school, explore it, you know, walk through it. Um, it was pretty cool, right? Just the, the atmosphere, it's, it's nice, it's calming. The weather's really nice right now. Uh, and I, and I, w I walk through, like, the main, like, pod, like, the center of the school, and I go around the gym. I hear people playing basketball. And like I step in mud and I walk through this gate and I see all these cars lined up and I see the like one of the poker stops is a, a theater. I want to check out the theater. I want to see what that building looks like. It must be a pretty cool building. And it turns out I'm, walk, I'm walking around a middle school as I an intermediate school that later I've come to realize. And I was like, and I'm thinking intermediate school theater must not be that good. It must be like a fucking. Indians and the Cherokees play about Thanksgiving and how they save Christmas or something, something dumb. And I see like like these two people in the theater room, and the theater kind of sticks out, and there's like lights in there. It's really bright. Like and you walk in there, and like it's it's something's happening. So there's two people talking. They look at me because I'm in my chef coat, fucking torn up, like looking dirty as fuck. Now here's something going on in the background. You know. Uh, and I go walk and I, and I walk through the through the, the theater, right? I'm inside the theater where you enter the, the seats. And I open one of the doors because they're, they're kind of like not really locked and open them. And then those entrance was blocked. And I see like a light and I hear stuff. I'm like, okay. But I'm looking up and I don't see anything else because it's just up, right? Like like you look up the, the, the walkway up and then nothing else because it's you can't see over it. I walk back and I'm like, yeah. And I'm just walking around the area. I walk around the hole. Like, I, I, you know, the perimeter, and I can use the restroom, go to the men's. And I walk in, and just one dude, one dude was just there, right? Peeing, but not peeing. 
and I walk all the way around to the furthest stall I see. And then he's still there. And I go wash my hands, and I don't really hear him peeing. He's still there. And I'm like, I don't want to stare or look, so it'd be fucking weird, right? Like this tall old old dude. And I look again, he's kind of like, just he has his head down, his eyes closed. And I double take, are his eyes really closed? And the eyes are really closed. Not peeing, like dozing up at the urinal. So I grab my hands and I walk on the other side of him towards the door and the exit. Because of the way I was raised, I had to make sure if he was okay. He, you okay, man? You all right? He turns turns to me. It's fly down. I didn't break eye contact because, whew, I don't know what. I just instinctively just stare him in the eyes. Safe. He zips it up and the second he zips it up, I look down at at, at his name tag. It's Chief U Usher. His name is James or something. I don't remember. It's just he's a Chief U Usher. And he's like, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I'm good. Yeah, I was uh, the play can i can i get in to see it and he's like yeah sure you can get in for free and <laughs> and then he escorts me to the top balcony and and he tells this lady it's like he's good okay <laughs> and then i walk in and literally like some people stare at me but some people don't and, and i look at the balcony area and you're right filled right it's balcony b filled and it's like a giant fucking theater so like it could fit at least 500 a thousand people right I turn to my left, there's like this this girl in the center of this black like square squared off area, like on the balcony with like like soundboards. And I look up more behind me, there's like a whole um like people that I guess they control the lights of everything. And there's like 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 one person in the in the box with the soundboards and like five people with the lights. And and then I, I look to, out, out there, right? And there's like thirty people on stage. Like thirty adult people, and and every like seat in the, in the front is fucking taken, and I go and sit in the back, and they're all singing and dancing, and I'm like what the fuck? How did I? What what's going on? Where am I? And then I was only there for the last five minutes, and then they get married and they fall in love. It's like the Little Mermaid, but there was other Snow White was there, uh, the other ones Cinderella. So I I don't know what the fuck was happening. There's a guy in a crab with a the top hat. Like in a crab suit, but like, like there was like two two like lizards skiing around. I don't know, dude. It was lit. And then I leave, and everyone's like leaving. I was like, huh? That was interesting. That was really interesting. Catch the last bit of that. How we? I'm not sure what much to talk about, really. Oh, this might be a short one. No, but let's play my boy Tommy Bahama. Well, this song is really sick, right? This song inspired me to like kind of create my own like little rap based off this. The beat. I'm not gonna sing it now. I'll sing it later. I, want, I really want to perfect that one. That one has some promise. It's pretty cool. He, he keeps it pretty cool. I want it. I want it cooler than it is. More relevant. By that I mean like it's just so you know like words people say nowadays. Uh. This is like really fucking cool. It's really like it's like oh shit, I feel it. Yeah, this is a song I'll play. Bah! I keep it cool, do what I want, I just choose. Living my life on the cruise, I might just hop on the cruise, I might just cash out on jewels. I need the ice on my neck and my boots. I need the money for paying my dues. I need the time back for fucking with you. Most of my money, I need it in tools. Call me Bahama, I feel like that dude. Fuck with the Uber, I hop out the coupe. Feel like the man and I look like the loop. Sleep on the nigga, they talk about me. Yeah, crossover, shooting J's in my Tommy Bahama. Tommy Bahama on chief and I'm sipping on pina colada. Ay. Yeah, Tommy Bahama. Hey, Tommy Bahama on chief and I'm sipping on pina colada. So sick. 
Oh, I love how he just has so much control on the beat, you know, like, like, those, like, like, the words, they kind of flow, like, the beat flows because of the words he's saying, more so than the other way around with most songs, right? How about the poop and dub on the boot? Like, Sammy Bama, yeah, I'm sipping a chip and I'm peanut galata. I don't know, all the rhymes are just sick. The rhyme scheme is pretty cool. Yeah, I like Tommy Bahama. That sounds sick. I love that song. That song gets me pumped. Hmm. So, sometimes when talking to like a group of people, uh, and they're talking about something I'm just not interested in. It's really hard for me to participate in things that I don't find interesting. Uh, it's and I just kind of just don't participate, and it kind of sucks. And then when I do participate, it's like it's kind of off because I don't, I'm not really fully paying attention. But I think it's be okay to say. Yeah, I don't know. I can't. I try though. Try. All right. That was kind of like an update, I guess, with me. Got a couple ideas, a couple of things in the world. Uh, in the meantime, it's just, gotta do it. It's gotta make it happen. Oh yeah, I forgot to talk about like my end result, my very end goal. Is I want to help people with my success by empowering others to do the things that they wish to do as I've done myself. I know that's kind of weird, but I feel that we are all products of our environment. There's lots of evidence that supports that. And it's really it gives me all my empathy for just everything. Um, to everything from you know, people who are homeless, right? Like I always, whenever <laughs> fuck, I this is actually really bad. I don't recommend doing this, but whenever like homeless people are actually for money, I, I just give it to them. I can't say no because like, like fuck, if I needed money, damn. Or if, you know, or if, if I'm like, if I have food in my hand, like I'll give them my food. I, I just I I'd rather go hungry because 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 me going hungry means they won't starve right <laughs> I mean come on ah uh, even to a lesser extent like just everyday people how it just sucks when people just struggle to go do their daily things right like that's like that's horrible we underestimate how horrible that is because we all had to get up and do something that we don't do or that we don't want to do why why do we have to settle for that. And kind of take people out of that and put them in a better, brighter direction, you know? Help, 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 help each other out, stuff like that. Not so much in the sense of like, you know, give them free money away, but really take the time, sit down with someone, and figure out together how to improve their life. And that, that in and of itself is really important, but I think that that's like, complicate that is. Uh, they some I feel I don't know it's hard, but I'm just trying to be aware of the fact that what if I'm just trying to help people just so I can make them do the things that I would I would want them to do or make them do the things that they would want to do right? It's kind of hard to figure that out. So we gotta talk to them and not really tell them what to do, but just help them figure out what what they want to do in a non-biased way. And it's just hard to be non un unbiased non-biased. It's hard to not be all biased in general. So. But once I figure out myself and things that I need to become and do, that's when I'll start help, start really helping out. And it's it's all it's all it's all what it really comes down to for me. It's just that <laughs> that's my happiness. I guess I don't know. Fuck. I don't know. Huh. Just that's what I want to do, but I, I'm not sure that's the correct way of going about it. We'll figure it out in time. Uh, 
so you understand yourself really be aware of yourself of every little thing that you do and seek to improve that take care have fun be safe godspeed